hey, are you using landing pages to sell your products and services? If not, you should be. So that's what we're gonna talk about. First, let's talk about exactly what a landing page is. The name is pretty self-explanatory, but we're going to go into a little more detail. A landing page acts as a standalone web page that you design specifically to market or sell your products or services. It's a page that you send people to when you want them to do something very specific. This means that your landing page should have a very specific call to action or CTA. Brands will often create landing pages as the destination site for ads. So if they're running some kind of paid promotion or ad campaign on Facebook or Google, when people click on that ad, they will be taken to the landing page where they're being encouraged to take a certain kind of action. To be clear, landing pages aren't just for paid ads and campaigns. You can also use them organically, meaning for free. Now that you have an idea of what a landing page is, you might be ready to dive right in and create your own, and that's great. But first, let's go through a few things that your landing page should have so that it converts better. You can drive all the traffic in the world to your landing page, but if it doesn't convert, your money and your time and energy will ultimately be wasted. Number one, offer something that solves a problem. Before you create your landing page, you need to think about what your followers really care about. They have to have a reason to go on this landing page and take action. If you're not offering something enticing that they can benefit from, they have no reason to interact with that page. What if you're using a landing page to try to get people to sign up for your email list? A simple, hey, sign up for our list, isn't going to cut it. You have to ask yourself, what do they get out of this? This is all about them, not you. They're going to ask themselves that same question before they hand over their contact information. Second tip, keep your landing page as simple as possible. This means that your landing page shouldn't say more than it absolutely has to. Now this doesn't mean that the landing page needs to be short. It can absolutely be a little on the longer side, but remember these things. Get to the point early on, in case they don't finish reading, Allow them to opt in at the top of the page, as well as scattered throughout the page, again, in case they don't make it to the bottom. And lastly, regardless of how long the landing page is, your copy should still be specific to that landing page, that goal, and that CTA. Here's our third tip for making a landing page that converts. Offer social proof. People might not trust you right off the bat, but they will trust what other people are saying about you. Examples of social proof are reviews, testimonials, interviews, and even case studies. Over and over again, research is proving that reviews significantly impact people's purchasing decisions. If you really want to leverage the power of reviews, then consider reaching out to current customers and asking them to record a quick video testimonial for you. And that brings us to our next tip. Utilize video. A landing page made entirely of text is a huge no-no. People aren't huge fans of reading. In fact, they don't really read, they skim. This means that you want your landing page to include, at the very least, images, but video is even better. Research is showing that, like customer reviews, videos have a serious impact on people's purchasing decisions. People love videos. They're engaging, they keep them on the page longer, and they really help people connect with your brand on an emotional level. Our next tip for your landing page, write a killer headline. Headlines are so important. They're very often the first thing people see when they land on your page, and sometimes that's going to be all they read. This means you should really be taking advantage of your headlines to convey a very important message. Different types of headlines will work for different types of brands and industries, and that brings us to our final tip. You should split test every element of your landing page. The images, the videos, the headlines, everything. The odds of creating the perfect landing page on the first attempt are slim to none. And this is normal. This kind of stuff always takes a little bit of trial and error. The best marketers know that not only do they need to split test, but it's in their best interest because that will help them determine the best path to take. Just remember that when it comes to split testing, test one variable at a time. All right, now that you know what a landing page is and how to create one that converts, you're ready to get started.